how did the Atlantic slave trade start? How was it maintained and how did it end? The Europeans arrived in Africa and also Spaniards developed an interest. By the 1500 year, 175,000 Africans were taken by Europeans or Spaniards. The Atlantic slave trade ended by the 19th century due to dislike of unfair human treatment only in America, however. Thomas Jefferson was the first to pass the law to make it illegal to buy or sell slaves. Who were the participants willfully and unwillfully in the Atlantic slave trade and how did it affect their lives? So the Europeans adopted the idea of slavery into their own opinion. The Portuguese were first, then the, to establish trade. The Spaniards were second, English, then the French, Netherlands, the Dutch, and then last the Americans. They were shipped in by the Europeans. The Jamaicans and the Africans were forced to be the slaves and affected their lives tremendously. Number three. How and why did European nations colonize Africa? The Europeans invaded. Traders and businessmen used slaves for goods and money. They would ship the goods back for profit because of cheap labor. Money and riches were the driving factor. Slaves were also used in war. So how did the Europeans establish? They started exploring and found the west coast of Africa and started with trade posts and colonies. What consequences and changes did colonialism in Africa bring? So the first thing was limited manufacturing. Europeans took resources and not leaving anything behind when they left. Second one was civil war and ethnic violence. Europeans established most of the things for their own benefit. And since the Europeans favored only certain tribes, it caused civil war between the different tribes. Poverty was another issue. With lack of agriculture, different tribes would raid each other for food and money. After World War II, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Winston Churchill created the Atlantic Charter, which gave African colonies independence to govern themselves. Some good things that happened were independence, and also they had no taxes from England. But some bad things were civil violence and poverty. What are the legacies of the colonial period that Africa still has to deal with? Weapons, diseases, and different agricultural practices were all introduced by outside countries. When the Europeans left the Africans and their colonies that they created crumbled which were kind of like mothers leaving their babies to survive on their own. Because the colonies were so poor, they started to attack each other because of European departure.